Update 1 on late season Typhoon Hagapid, which now has winds of 105 miles per hour and an air pressure of 956 millibars. Its position is 7.5 degrees north, 140.5 degrees east as of 2 a.m. UTC on December the 3rd, and the storm's likely to intensify over the next few days uh, and could affect the Micronesian Islands as a significant major typhoon with winds of, of more than 110 miles per hour category 3 on the Safa Simpson hurricane scale. Of course, the threat is also present for the Philippines, particularly the eastern Visayas region uh, and northwards of that as well, uh, where the storm could linger around that area for some time as a typhoon, according to the latest computer models uh, we could see. Of course, heavy rainfall occurring from that uh, towards the end of this week going into next week, which could cause significant catastrophic flooding, quite possibly. Typhoon warnings in effect for Yap and the uh, smaller Nagulu area to the south of the main Yap Island. Uh, and typhoon watch is in effect for areas towards the um, east and west of that as well. Tropical storm warnings in effect for Palau in its main island of Koror. Um, but no other warnings in effect yet. That includes the Philippines. No warnings there just yet, but we could be seeing typhoon conditions there in the next five days. Sea surface temperatures are very warm indeed, 29 to 30 degrees Celsius quite possibly, uh, particularly in the next 24 hours they're likely to be the warmest um, and then it will likely fall away a little bit in the next uh, few days as it moves towards the Philippines. Uh, wind shear is likely to be rather low as well, uh, a high amount a little bit to it ahead of the storm, around 10 to 20 knots. Uh, nothing significant though, dry air is not an issue either. Uh, the only pockets of dry air to its far uh, east and of the Taiwan Strait. Uh, between its location and the Philippines, nothing really uh, to stop the storm. The CMC computer model then takes the storm towards the Philippines, a little dip towards the south before the storm finally moves inland uh, over the Visayas region and still a storm by the time it emerges on, in the South China Sea as well. GFS has a different scenario, the storm moving further towards the north um, near the Samar region and then moving towards the northwest, almost stalling offshore and then moving towards the north eventually gradually weakening but at this point at its peak intensity it could be a significant category 4 storm we just don't know quite what it's going to do just yet so the latest satellite imagery, you can see the latest uh, heading from the storm and the small island that the storm is heading towards at the moment is Yap. Uh, the larger island towards the southwest is Palau and uh, warnings have shifted a little bit because Palau was under typhoon warnings now down, downgraded to typhoon watches um, and tropical storm warnings because the storm's latest track has been more towards the northwest meaning a more northward track could be possible. Uh, but as you can see the storm has been developing rather nicely um, intensification has tapered off a little bit in the past few hours but still rising a little bit up from 100 miles per hour six hours ago uh, but before then it was only 75 or so somewhere around there category one uh, as of december the 3rd at 2 a.m utc there's nothing going on in the western hemisphere i believe uh, the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific is virtually shut down now. Invest 99S in the Indian Ocean and, of course, Typhoon Hagapit are the only things of note uh, in the world tropics as we speak. 77 tropical storms have formed so far this year, 2014, just one away from the four above it. 44 cyclones of winds of 74 miles per hour plus, Category 1 hurricane equivalent, and 25 of those have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour and higher. Uh, Hagapit could well be number 26. You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, is the main place to be on all the goings-on around the world, storm-wise. Of course, the video pages, YouTube and Dailymotion, will keep you regularly up-to-date on all uh, latest storm developments. Of course, there will be 12 hourly updates going on on Hagapit as long as there are major threats uh, as a typhoon. And of course, you can visit the social pages, which should have quick-fire updates even more regularly than that, Force 13 on Facebook and Twitter at 413 on Twitter and you can speak to me personally on Skype at Fool13 on there for Tropical Weather Chat um, but until the next update which will follow at 2pm UTC uh, December the 3rd that's all for now